yes today is combined period for 9 a and b so many students are there for section b also so now let us start so yesterday as we have discussed a lot about the chapter the last leaf so what the chapter the last leaf was all about i told you that it was only of hope to be uh, to have optimism to be optimistic in life it is only the optimism that helps you to win every battle of life if you lose your heart if you lose yourself then you won't be able to achieve success in your life so it is only with the help of your optimism your positive attitude your positive behavior you will be able to fight against all odds in life and will be able to achieve success so very beautiful story that we were reading the last leaf in order to make complete contact i am again starting you can say uh, from the very start again so sue and johnzy these are the two young artists so the main characters of this story are sue and johnzy they shared a small flat what they were sharing they were living in a small flat the flat was on the third story of the of an old house so where is this house situated it is situated on the third floor of an old house third flat they were having of an old house old house it also depicts that they were struggling they were in their struggling phase of career this is the reason they have hired a very old house john c fell very seriously ill in november so what happened to john c in november she fell seriously ill she had pneumonia so what she was suffering from she was suffering from pneumonia she would lie in her bed without moving so what was her problem she all the day long she is going she is lying in her bed without moving without making much movement without going out of the room just gazing out of the window sue her friend became very worried so she is always gazing she is always looking out of the window and because of this what happened that made her friend sue worried that what will happen to her as she is not showing any kind of activity she is taking medicines and still there is no improvement in her health she sent for the doctor naturally when she is worried she is not getting the way out then what has happened she has sent for the doctor although he came every day there was no change in johns's condition the doctor was paying a regular visit but even the doctor was not noticing any improvement in the condition of johnsy this has also made the doctor worried he was worrying that why why there is no improvement in her health one day the doctor took sue aside and asked her is anything worrying johnsy the man the medication provided by the doctor it was also not working and then doctor took sue aside and asked just tell me is there anything that is worrying your friend that the medicine is also not working just a moment please that the medicine is not working sue replied no but why do you ask she said no there is nothing that is worrying my friend but what is the reason why are you asking this there is something that needs to be taken care of wait a minute no the doctor said john z it seems has made up her mind that she is not going to get well if she doesn't want to live medicines will not help her the doctor has cleared the complete matter to her she said it seems that she has made up her mind that she is not going to get cured but remember medication will be of no use if she is not making up her mind to live she has to make up her mind to 
live so she has to take care of her health she has to make herself strong sue tried her best to make johnzy take an interest in things around her so sue she also got worried about her condition she was also feeling that she should take care and she should also take interest in the things around so that her mind can be diverted towards positive side and she should understand she talked about clothes fashions but johnzy she did not respond in order to divert her mind in order to make her engross or make her you can say feel better she is also discussing about her you know the girls the girls love to talk about clothes and fashion she's talking about this you know this is in vogue this is happening but johnsy still she was not responding at all she was not paying any attention towards all these things she continued to be still on her bed so continuously she is still on her bed again looking out of the window sue brought her drawing board into johnsy's room and started painting to take johnsy's mind off her illness off her illness means away from her illness she whistled while working so she in order she thought that maybe she is all alone in the room this is the reason that she is not paying any attention then she took her drawing board into johnsy's room and ultimately what has happened she was painting and while painting again johnsy was not paying attention then she started whistling that maybe by whistling by listening to this sound she may might or she might pay attention towards the drawing that she is making in her room suddenly sue heard johnsy whisper something suddenly she noticed that johnsy was whispering something what it was she she quickly rushed to the bed and heard johnsy counting backwards so she went to the bed and noted that she was counting backward like 10 9 in this manner she was looking out of the window and was saying 12 after some time she whispered 11 then 10 then 9 8 7 so she she tried to listen that what she was speaking so then she noticed that she spoke 12 after some time she said 10 in this manner with certain pauses she is saying 10 8 10 9 8 and then 7 sue anxiously looked out of the window sue she looked out of the window that what is that she saw an old ivy creeper ivy is a sort of creeper which grows with the help of the main plant in order to climb to heights it was climbing halfway up the brick wall opposite their window so she was looking out of the window sue that what she was noticed what she was counting she has noticed that outside the window on the wall there is an ivy creeper that is on the wall like there is an ivy creeper so then she has noticed that she is looking at it continuously in the strong wind outside the creeper was shedding its leaves she has also noticed that because of strong wind was blowing finally the leaves of this creeper are being shed down so few leaves are there on it and this is what johnsy was noticing what is it dear sue asked johnsy what is it what are you counting six then she again whispered six they are falling faster now in a very sad manner she said you know these leaves they are falling very fast they are falling fast now 3 days ago there were almost 100 leaves they are there are only 5 left now she said you know few days ago <coughs> there were 100 leaves on this creeper but now there are just 5 leaves she said it is autumn and the leaves will fall she said why you are surprised there is nothing to surprise because there are many leaves and there are you can say it is autumn season and the leaves will naturally fall it is a natural process 
today the leaves will fall and when the spring comes new leaves will come out of it oh that's nonsense sorry when the last leaf falls i'll die jonzy said with finality i have known this for the last 3 years but what jonzy said you know today only five leaves are left but when the last leaf of this creeper would fall that would be my last day and i will definitely die and she said i have been observing it for so many days and this i know for sure she said what that's nonsense what have what have old ivy leaves to do with your getting well she said why you have interrelated it there is no connection between your getting well and those of ivy creepers the doctor is confident that you will get better she said jonzy she did not say anything she went and bought her a bowl of soup so she said doctor is also confident that soon you will be better she went inside the kitchen she has brought a bowl of soup so that she could eat something and her mind to be diverted jonzy said soup i don't want any soup i'm not hungry now there are only four leaves left now what he what she said she said now just see there are only four leaves left and three more leaves and i will be dead and i don't want the soup because i'm not hungry i want to see the last one fall before it gets dark then i will sleep forever she says i know by this evening before dark this last leaf will also fall and i will sleep forever i will be dead forever sorry i have not shifted to the next page siu sat on jonzy's bed kissed her and said you are not going to die i can't draw the curtain for i need the light i want to finish the painting and get some money for us she said stop that stupid thing jonzy you are not going you are not going to die i'm not but uh, i'm not drawing the curtain because i need some light from outside and stop looking at this ivy creeper you will soon get well and she said actually i have to finish this painting so that i can get some money for us please my dear friend she begged jonzy promise me not to look out of the window when i paint she said please jonzy i request you that you will not look outside while i paint this painting john just said all right finish your painting soon for i want to see the last leaf fall i am tired of waiting i have to die so let me go away peacefully like one of those poor tired leaves she is relating her life to that of you can say those uh, falling leaves of autumn season so she said don't worry please finish your painting she said i will not interrupt but i i'm just looking at the last leaf that when this last leaf would fall that would be the end of my day she said i'm tired of this waiting i have to die she said and when this last leaf will would fall and i will also be peacefully going away from this world like these tired leaves who have fallen from the ivy creeper she said jonzy try to sleep i have to paint an old miner i will call bearman up to my to be my model she said now stop all this you can take rest actually i am going to paint a miner and for that you know that painters whenever they are painting they need a model in front of them in order to copy the exact features so what she said she said i need a miner to be my model and i think bearman who is also a painter who is living living on the ground floor and he is the perfect model for me then telling this she she rushed down bearman lived on the ground floor she rushed to bearman where bearman is living bearman is living on the ground floor now who what kind of man he was he was a 60 year old painter 
what was the age of bearman she he was 60 years of age his lifelong dream was to paint a masterpiece see in just one line the writer has cleared his aim that he wanted to keep to paint a masterpiece what is a masterpiece piece of art that will be remembered for generations to come that will be an example for others in that field and which they consider as their you can say idol so she poured out her worries to bearman so but till now bearman he was not able to fulfill his dream he has not painted a masterpiece yet his worries they have all remained as his worries now when johnsy uh, sorry sue has gone to bearman she poured out her heart poured out her worries poured out means to describe her worries to bearman she told that sue has developed a wrong notion about life she is thinking that when the last leaf on the ivy creeper would fall that would be the last day of my life she told him how johnsy was convinced that she would die when the last leaf fell and she had completely engrossed herself in the falling of the leaves that she thought that when the last leaf would fall that would be the last day of her life bearman who was an experienced man he said what what he is saying is she stupid how can she be so foolish he was surprised that how she could think like that he asked is she foolish this is of course a foolishness to think in this manner to relate your life to the falling of leaves he said how can this be possible that when the last leaf would fall she would be dead she is running a high temperature she refuses to eat or drink and that worries me a lot she so again told bearman that she is not taking her medicine she is suffering from very high temperature and she is not at all eating and drinking and you know that without eating and drinking she would not be able to recover as she won't get the sufficient amount of you can say nutrients in order to recover bearman said i will come with you and see johnsy he said don't worry i will come and see you they tiptoed into the room finally bearman came silently putting their feet stealthily they tiptoed into the room now to see what johnsy was saying thinking johnsy was sleeping sue drew the curtains together and they went to the next room sue she closed the curtains drew the curtain so that when she woke up she could not see outside the window and they both went to the next room she peeped out through the window there was only one leaf on the creeper she looked that now there is only one leaf on the creeper it was raining heavily and an icy cold wind was blowing so it what happened it was raining heavily icy cold wind was blowing very cold weather and that last leaf would definitely fall but bearman has something in her in his mind it seemed as though the leaf would fall at any minute now yes naturally because the strong wind was blowing and he knew that this last leaf would fall at any time bearman did not see a word you know the people who are who are of you can say actions they never speak a word he did not say anything he silently has gone he went back to his room johnsy woke up next morning so next morning when johnsy woke up in a feeble feeble means weak in a feeble voice she asked you to draw the curtains she told her friend sue sue please come please open up these curtains no sue was nervous sue was reluctant to open up those curtains because she thought that if she would open those curtains and the last leaf would not be there she would see that the last leaf would not be there she would definitely die then what would happen she was not ready 
she drew back the curtains very reluctantly but with great hesitation reluctantly means hesitation she has drawn the curtains away from the window sue exclaimed oh she looked at the wine creeper look there is still one leaf on the creeper sue was surprised to see that the last leaf that was on the ivy creeper it has not fallen down now she was surprised that how is this possible there was strong wind blowing and why this creeper why this leaf on the creeper has not fallen down it looks quite green and healthy the leaf was green and healthy and seems to be perfectly attached with the branch in spite of the storm and the fierce winds it didn't fall although there was storm there were strong winds blowing but still but still this leaf did not fall i heard the wind last night jonesy said i thought it would have fallen it will surely fall today then i'll down so jonesy said dear this how is this possible that this leaf has not fallen he said that i thought that it would have fallen and surely i know that if it has not fallen at night it will definitely fall today and she said and i know and i know that at that time that would be the last day of my life and as she has related her life with that of the falling of that leaf she thought that then she would definitely die jonesy smiled weakly and closed her eyes now very sad completely having the feeling to be on the verge of death she closed her eyes and was very sad that she is going to die after every hour or so she would look out of the window and find the leaf still there she was waiting when this last leaf would fall but after every after one hour she saw that the leaf was still there she then again closed her eyes then after some time this leaf would definitely fall then after another hour she again opened her eyes and looked at the leaf the leaf was still there it seemed to be clinging to the creeper it was strongly stuck to the creeper this strong wind this strong rain it has not let it to fall down in the evening there was another storm but the leaf did not fall at night in the evening strong wind was blowing it was storm stormy evening it was but still that leaf again did not fall how has that happened jonesy lay for a long time looking at the leaf jonesy was only waiting that when this leaf would fall she would also die she was just waiting for the leaf to fall down she knew that when this leaf would fall i will definitely die now then she called out to sue she was again worried also at one point that why is this why this leaf is not falling down then finally something happened in her mind she called sue she said i have been a bad girl you have looked after me so lovingly and i have not cooperated with you i have been depressed and gloomy she said really i'm not a good girl i'm a bad girl you as a friend has taken care of me so lovingly but but i have not cooperated with you you have helped me you were giving me food to eat you were giving me drink but still i was not cooperating with you even you have called the doctor i was not taking medicine properly she said i have been depressed and gloomy actually i was really depressed and gloomy now i have realized that it is a sin to want to die now she said really i have come to know 
that it is really a sin to die and this sin i have committed sue hurt johnsy sue now realized that she has got her mistake she gave her lots of hot soup and a mirror johnsy combed her hair and smiled brightly so she thought that now she has developed the wish to live okay so what happened she has given a lot of hot soup johnsy started eating because why why she started eating because now she has developed the hope that this leaf is not going to fall and i am not going to die so she combed her hair as she has not combed her hair for so many days she was not you can say keeping herself you can say neat and tidy so this is also you can say uh, this chapter is also telling us about uh, about the quality of friendship see these are true friends that when she was going down in her life she was always there to take care of her these are true friends they are good friends it means never leave your friend in need actually a friend in need is a friend indeed there is no doubt in that and this is how sue and johnsy they have taken care of each other actually it was only sue who has taken care of johnsy but johnsy finally she has realized up her mistake okay so this is all about this chapter and in the next class we are going to further read this